This is a lens implant. This is a lens implant, also known as an intraocular lens or IOL. How big is this implant? The total diameter is 13 millimeters or 1.3 centimeters. The central lens the patients look through is six millimeters. These lens implants are usually about 0.5 to one millimeter thick, about the thickness of a credit card. Our natural lenses inside of our eyes that we're born with are about four to five millimeters in thickness by the time we reach age 50. For scale, this is the size of the lens implant compared to a penny, an Instagram icon, a text message icon on my cell phone, and the flashlight button on my iPhone. The reality is most of you over your lifetime will have one of these placed into your eye to help you see. Now why is that? It's because we all age. And as we age, the lens inside of our eye changes. And of course, when I point to my eye, you completely understand the concept, right? So let me explain. There are two focusing structures to our eye, the cornea and the lens. Together, they focus the world around us onto the retina. When we're born, our lenses are clear. In our youth, our lenses are very flexible, which enables us to focus and refocus easily from far to near and near to far effortlessly. As we age, our clear lenses invariably turn cloudy and lose their flexibility. After the age of 45, most of us will begin to notice the loss of flexibility of the lens because we can no longer refocus from far to near with ease. This condition is known as presbyopia. After the age of 45, most of us will begin to notice the loss of flexibility of the lens because we can no longer refocus from far to near with ease. This condition is known as presbyopia. Usually by age 50 to 55, we need to use reading glasses or bifocals to help us refocus from far to near. So what are these reading glasses actually doing to help us see up close? A youthful eye has a very flexible lens inside the eye that helps us to refocus from far to near similar to the refocusing power of a camera that can refocus from far to near. In 100% of people, as we age, our lenses become less and less flexible. And usually by the age of about 45, we begin to notice a slight inability to refocus from far to near. Reading glasses or cheaters have a focusing power in these lenses that make up for the lost refocusing power that our lenses inside of our eyes used to be able to generate on their own when we were younger. Let me use a pull-up as an example of focusing power of the natural lens within our eye. When we're younger, we have the ability to easily refocus from far to near. The far is the bottom hanging position. Near is the full pull-up position. When we're younger, we have the ability to easily refocus from far to near. In this example, far is the bottom hanging position with my arms fully extended. Near is the fully pulled up position. As we age, the ability of our lenses to refocus from far to near is gradually lost. We can still see far, but we lose our ability to generate the power to refocus near. Reading glasses or cheaters essentially give us the power boost to help us see near by giving us the external power in the lenses to help us refocus up close. In this case, the elastic band is similar to the reading glasses and that it, it is giving me a power boost to make up for the gradual loss of power that a person might have due to the normal aging process. Now a common question is, can we exercise our way out of presbyopia or the need for reading glasses by looking far away and then refocusing up close and exercising our, our focusing muscles? The answer is no. 
No one outruns Father Time. Father Time is undefeated. Everyone will experience presbyopia sometime between the ages of 45 and 55. Then by age 75, most of our lenses have been cloudy enough that our vision is impaired at all distances. This clouding of the lens is the process by which we develop cataracts. So how does this lens implant help you and me see better? And who is the best candidate to receive this implant to help correct their vision? If you're over the age of 45 and want to correct your vision so you can see your best without glasses, we remove the aging lens and replace it with a lens implant that can help you refocus from far to near and near to far without glasses. These lens implants are called presbyopia correcting intraocular lenses, also known as premium lens implants. This is the most common premium lens implant that we use in 2022 and heading into 2023. With this lens, placed inside your eye to replace your natural, albeit aging lens, most patients can see their drive, watch TV, and look at the computer and read their cell phone without glasses and without having to enlarge the font. We use this lens for patients who do not have a visually significant cataract, which means people generally less than 65 years of age. We also use this lens for patients who begin to see cloudy and blurry at all distances because of cataract formation. The average age of patients in our practice having surgery for visually significant cataracts is between 65 and 75. Not all patients having cataract surgery will choose a premium lens implant due to either the condition of their eye or due to cost concerns. Premium eye wells are not covered by insurance. If a patient wants a premium IOL, there is an out-of-pocket expense which is paid by the patient. What if I'm older than 65 and have a visually significant cataract and can't see well when I drive at night and just want to have better vision? I understand that cataract surgery is the solution to help me see better, but I don't want to have to pay extra out-of-pocket for a premium lens. These patients typically receive a basic monofocal lens. Surgery to place a basic monofocal lens is identical to the surgery to place a premium lens implant. Basic monofocal lenses give outstanding visual quality. However, because a monofocal lens is not designed to give a full range of focus, patients must be willing to accept the need for reading glasses or bifocals to see far to near and near to far. So hopefully this information helps you understand how lens implants help people see better. If you want more information, please click the links below. So thank you for watching. I hope this video helps give you a better understanding of what really is a super common procedure. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.